All right, guys, welcome back. Right, in today's video, it's going to be slightly different because I'm going to explain what we're up to, what projects we've got in line, etc., etc. So I've been really busy recently with work commitments. I work for the ambulance service, maintaining the fleet. So that's been really hectic recently. I've also become a father in the last six months for the first time. So that's also taken up quite a lot of my time. So where I am with my projects at the minute. The Audi A6, which has been featured on this channel, has now gone. So it was an A6 S-Line Avant, quite a nice model, but it was getting a little bit old. And, you know, I wanted something a little bit newer, something better on fuel, better on tax. Because it was £330 for two litre diesel, which is quite excessive, I think. So that's long gone. So the current lineup, we've now got a Volkswagen CC to replace the Audi as the family car. It's a GT model, so it's quite sporty. It drives really well, it drives like a Golf. It's obviously on a Golf platform. It's a little bit bigger than a Golf, so it's much more practical, but performs really well for what it is. It does really good fuel economy, and the tax is a lot less than the Audi was. So it was a no-brainer, really. So I've got that now. I've obviously got the Nova, which is featured quite a lot on the channel. Um, that is a... 300 horsepower C20 let engine uh, converted car. It's pretty quick, does a quarter mile in 12.3 seconds. There's been a few videos on that, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, please look at my other videos. And I've obviously got the trusty old Porsche 996 911. Now that's like my weekend toy, my weekend fun car, but it's obviously, it's got aircon, it's got quite a lot of creature comforts, but being an older model, it's nearly 20 years old now, it is still fairly mechanical and analog so it doesn't have all your driver aids like a lot of the newer stuff does it doesn't even have traction control which is surprising so you know it feels old mechanical but it's got modern creature comfort so that's a great car so what my plans with them then well the cc is just a daily so i don't really plan on doing a lot to it however the brakes are squeaking a bit on the back they've got plenty of life in them have a little bit rusty and I imagine they're probably a little bit seized or something so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take them off and replace them at some point but other than that there's not really a lot wrong with it it's a couple of stone chips and a few minor little things but it's a daily car so I'm not overly bothered the Nova now that's a different story the roof although it looks okay in images it's not in very good condition I'm not happy with the paint on it and the sunroof is really annoying it it's broken it doesn't shut properly and all the headlining is knackered inside. Looks a right mess. The grab handles are all broken. So my plan is to weld up the sunroof, respray the roof properly, and then fit a nice new headlining, which you can buy off eBay, I've seen. Um, fit a headlining and remove the grab handles and stuff because they're all broken. I don't use them. They're quite expensive and hard, hard to source now. So I figured I'd just get rid of them and just have like a nice smooth finish. And that's going to really make the car look better. So that's one of the big plans for the Nova. Um, it's also got a gearbox oil leak, which I need to address. Just coming out of some belly pan, but nice and easy. But I will do that at some point. And then just obviously continue to maintain it and use it. It's now on the road. Again, lots of videos on that. If you're interested, have a look in the other videos. The Porsche, that's pretty good to be fair. It doesn't really need anything. Um, it's got a little minor dint in one of the front wings. You can't see it very clearly unless it's in certain lights, but basically a scrap door fell on it really annoyingly. I left it there for 10 seconds and then thought, oh, that's a bad idea. Turn around and the door fell on it. Um, it's very frustrating, but it is only very minor. So I want to get a dent expert to hopefully do that, repair that without having to respray it. Um, also, I replaced the window regulator on the driver's side last year and recently. I've noticed because it's a pillarless door frame, it doesn't have it doesn't have a, a frame around the glass. So when you open the door, when you pull the door handle, the window should drop down a little bit, but it doesn't always seem to do that properly. Um, so when you close the door, it sometimes gets caught up. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's an electrical issue or a mechanical issue. I, I did originally think it wasn't adjusted properly, but it, it seems to be too intermittent. So I don't think it is that. So I need to look into that because that's an annoying fault. Fix that. But that's pretty much it. Maybe just give it a quick detail every now and again and use it and have some fun, really. So what I'm going to do going forward, well, I've recently set up a Copart account 
and I've been bidding on cars. Now I want another exotic car. I want a bit of a project. So I've just recently bid on a Porsche 997 911, which has got an aero kit. It's a Carrera S, so it's a 3.8, 350 horsepower, really nice car, but it needed an engine. I lost the bid by £100, and I just wasn't prepared to go any higher than that. So, unfortunately, I lost that, one of them things. Then a few days later, a V12 Aston Martin um, Vantage came up, DB7. Uh, not my, not my favourite kind of Aston Martin, but it's an Aston Martin and I love them, and I really want a V12. So I bid on that with the intention to buy it, and I won it. I was really, really happy. It was absolutely top of my budget, though. And then I realised it was reserved, not met. So they counter-offered me a figure back, which was about £2,000 more than I wanted to pay. I said no, it got relisted, and now it's sold. So, yeah, um, I've been looking at exotic cars, things like that, DB9s, um, R8s, uh, I don't mind if they crash, but I don't want too heavy damage. But something, I, something I, either I can do a mechanical repair or bodywork repair, or a bit of both. But something just cheap to tidy up, make nice, have a bit of fun in, and then I'll probably sell it and get something else. But that's the kind of thing I'm after. So that's that's what we're on with. Um, stay tuned, and I'll hopefully have a video of me buying a car soon. Hopefully. In the meantime, though, I've recently bought some C20 XE and C20 LED parts, which, nothing fancy really, just some odds and sods, which my MAC tester, believe it or not, I had laying around. So I bought them off him. I'm going to make a little mural for the wall here, maybe like like a rocker cover and a few bits, put them on the wall just to make it look pretty. Um, and then I'm just going to keep the rest bits as spares because they're handy. But I'm going to show you now what I've bought and see what you think. So this is what I've bought. So I've got fuel rail with an adapter so you can use an external regulator, a square tooth bottom crank pulley, a C20 LED standard top hat and intake hose for the turbo, a oil pickup, a later plastic plug cover, which is going to go on the wall, a early GT SFI box. The letters weren't red and they should be. It's obviously been cleaned off. So I've hand painted this which has come out really well. I'm really chuffed with that. I used two pack paint, had four coats, but you can't see any brush marks for anything now it's dry. So I'm really chuffed. So again, that's going to go on the wall. There's a late square tooth belt cover, inner and outer, and an early belt cover, a sump, inlet manifold, which I may use to make a log manifold for the Nova, a C20 letter throttle body, and a C20 XC throttle body, with the PKP Ecotech adapter for fitting on a Corsa, for example. So all in, some rare parts. Like I say, they're getting rare now, so I'm going to keep them, save them, clean them up, do something with them one day probably, but I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm going to wrap the video up there today, guys. I know it's not been an exciting video, but it's been an essential video for you guys to know what I'm up to behind the scenes. Um, so hopefully, all being well, that we're going to have a nice, exotic cars out here soon that I can do some work on. If that fails, there's still the Nova to do some work on. And there's still the other cars. So all being well, we're going to have stuff to do. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all my recent subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'm really enjoying the feedback I'm getting from everybody. So yeah, thank you once again. Again, if you like what you see, please like, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned for more, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.